Okay, I'm back to my YouTube channel. Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for being here. I feel very good, very light, very free, very ready to sit here and make a bunch of YouTube videos. So if you see me over the next couple weeks or even months, probably just the next couple weeks, um, in this outfit on all the videos that you see, they were all recorded on the same day. Even though that brings me to the next point, that really didn't need to be said because I actually don't have that many clothes anyway. So more than likely you see me in repeat outfits a lot. Um, that's actually part of my minimalist nature. I don't ever own a lot of clothes at one time. I don't like clutter. I don't like having a bunch of stuff. I get moderately, moderately well-made clothes that are going to last for a while. I keep some pieces. Like You can kind of see the things that are hung up there are things that... I've gotten either from thrift stores or small boutiques that are really, really, really well made that are going to last for a while and I can have a staple pieces in my wardrobe. And then I have very minimal things like scarves, skirts, um, scarves that I can turn into skirts and different things like that that really make it easy for me to be versatile without owning a lot. Um, and taking up a lot of space. So I, if you are following me on Instagram, you'll see a photo that I put up of my little closet area that I kind of like to keep looking like it's a store. Um, it's very neatly folded and color coordinated and things. And that makes me feel really good. I have cleaned out my room. It's very empty right now, um, which is very good. My companion has gone back to New York City. Um, he was here with me for a while while I was getting settled in my transition and now he's getting settled back on the East Coast that way we can always be like having that cross you know what I mean I can go there he can go here and I don't have to lose my connection with New York and New York is definitely a place that he loves so much um, and loves to be existing in and the pedestrian lifestyle is really good for him versus california which is good for me for very various reasons including being able to go hiking whenever i want to so um that was a huge transition which sparked a lot of different change in transition um and it wasn't like a surprise transition it just was a huge transition um yeah so now i am moving forward into what's next um and as my friend darcy would say you know instead of the anxiety of i don't know what's next it's more like i don't even know anything could happen um i've been in that frame of mind and in a few new um frames of mind that have been spurred by me getting rid of some really nasty core beliefs so one of the videos that i'm going to do later is an update to my money box video I know that that is a video that is done the best on YouTube so far as far as my videos go. I don't know how much of that video people actually watch, but in terms of views, it definitely has the most. Um, and I've even had a few people ask, you know, for an update on that. And so I definitely have an update on that. Um, I feel well past those blocks. Um, and that is not to say that all of my financial concerns have been met with a res with resolve they have all been met with solution and those solutions are becoming resolved so I'm gonna do a video about that I'm gonna do um, sort of a micro influencer playlist so now Every Monday is going to be Micro Influencer Monday. And on Micro Influencer Monday, I'm going to talk about things like what it means to be a micro influencer, how to really parlay your influence as a micro influencer. I think it's something that I know a lot about. And I think that it's something that while I'm still in my very micro influencer state, I think I can talk about with some authority and um, in a language that still works for people who are just now building their brand and social media and I want to have a part of my YouTube channel that um, gives in that way because I think um, those of us that are in these little niches don't necessarily have 
those in our niche teaching us about how to really rock out in social media in our niche and we're not always sharing that because we're so deep into our niche so like the pagan the witch community and people like that there's a lot of us that are out there doing it but not a lot of us that are out there teaching it as far as branding for spiritual for spiritual brands um the branding of spirituality right now is very vanilla you know what i mean it's very like based on travel photos and yoga poses you know and altars and baubles and what's it's and who's it's and things and i think there is so much and i don't i'm not just targeting the spiritual community in these micro influencer monday topics but i think being someone who is in the spiritual community and the psychology community um I I think that I can provide a level of, of understanding that hopefully others in my community will grasp on to as well and start to get their messages out there better. So, um, yeah, that's going to be coming. I, I'm going to get into story times a bit more. I just have so many stories about my life. And I really like story time videos. And... I want to be a little bit more intentional about that. Um, everything that happened after I dropped my friend off at the airport up until now has just been one big story time that's probably going to have to be a script. The last week or so has felt like The Truman Show or like Mulholland Drive or The Matrix or Alice in Wonderland or anything you could think of and I've been sober. So <laughs> um, it's just been very surreal and I've learned so much about myself and so much about the potential for magnificence in the world um, that requires a bit of letting go. And I want to really inspire others to reach that same potential and to experience the world in a very fabulous way. And again, that requires a bit of letting go. And so I'm hoping that in my story times, in those parts of my videos, um, that I'm able to do just that. Just self-inquire to inspire, you know? <clears throat> I definitely want to keep my channel in its roots, in its woo-woo, tarot, shadow work, witchy ways and Wednesdays will be all about the woo woo and I'm gonna make sure that I really house the meat of my spiritual conversation on Wednesdays um just because it starts with a W and I like the word woo woo there's no other reason so get your life and your spirituality on Wednesdays with me um I want a, a specific space for it because I was having a hard time narrowing how I want to focus my channel and I recognize that this is a diary, this is self inquiry, this is stories, this is teaching, this is learning and I always want to be doing these things on my YouTube channel. And just because I'm doing so many things doesn't mean that I can't curate it in a way that is is manageable and that people can know what they're getting and people that want to come here for one thing can come here on this day for that thing and Blah, 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 blah. I am always going to be many, 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 many things. I am a polymath. There's no escaping that. And so I'm going to honor and radically accept that about myself and set up my channel in a way that glorifies my beautiful, chaotic nature. Um, so yes, Woo Woo Wednesdays, we're going to bring it, bring it back, bring it in, talk direct about these things. I want to show you my altar and talk about some things that I've manifested and achieved recently. I've been heavy into alchemy, which is probably also why everything has been so different and surreal. Um, I want to talk about YouTubers that inspire me. It's so many. I've been watching so much YouTube and, um, I want to get into that because I think they have so much information that, you know, they could help many, many, many people with. And, oh, oh I want to make sure that. Okay. 
I just want to make sure that people can find the YouTubers that I like that have given me a lot of information that have really helped me over time um, experience some better things in life. Um, I don't know. I'm excited. I feel very light. I've done a lot of work on myself, a lot of shadow work, and I've come to a lot of realizations, and I'm seeing the universe really pour into me based on me making some decisions just within myself, like how I'm going to continue to get on in the world and how I'm going to continue to perceive what is happening around me, not to me, and how I'm going to continue to design the antithesis to every negative thought that I have um, and banish these harmful beliefs and thoughts that take me further away from my bottom line and my purpose and my talents and um, it's good it's really good so I want to put this video out and then I'm going to make the videos that I have planned I have a whole schedule a YouTube content schedule for like the next two months and everything so I also have some really really fun ones for woo woo Wednesday I want to talk about like the tarot oh no I'm not gonna tell you 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 I'm just gonna do it and then you'll see them and they'll be interesting and you'll like them a lot um other than that, guys, I think that's all for the updates and the updates on my channel and the direction it's headed in and things of that nature. Um, I have a lot to say and I'm going to make a bunch of different videos. So, you know, um, stay tuned and you can rely on a schedule at least for a while. And I hope that I start getting to know many more of you in this journey. As I commit a little bit more of myself to this YouTube thing. And yeah, let's get it, guys. Let's do this again soon, friends.